The Lighthouse is a movie I almost saw at the Angelica Theater in New York City, but I didn't. I watched it at home. Yeah. I could have seen it in theaters, though. There was a showing at my Manhasset Theater, a local one, and it just came after I actually went to go see the movie. So I missed it in theater, sadly. But it's one that I think we can really only enjoy as much as possible in the theater. It is a really cinematic, nightmarish experience that isn't boring. I mean, movies like this I usually consider boring because it was shot in black and white. It has, I mean, not as much dialogue as a typical film, but when it does strike, it really strikes lightning. I think the whole time you're wondering what's going to happen, and it doesn't defer from that. Movies tend to defer or tend to move away from what you expect, and they can be disappointing, but in this case, it's not. The Lighthouse is constantly going to change your expectations. I don't think you'll ever really have a set idea of where the film will go and then it will take off. And that's where the film benefits the most. Robert Pattinson is great in this film. Willem Dafoe is on a god tier. I mean, he really is great because of one monologue he delivers that's amazing. Robert Pattinson just playing along is great to watch. He does a fantastic job. I have, just this year, and through 2019, been slowly realizing what it means to be a good actor, what it means to perform, and I think this showed me. It didn't officially show me, but starting September, once I started my freshman year of college, I realized this is acting, this is directing. The Lighthouse fires on all cylinders. It's able to bring a very tense story and it's able to have some funny moments in there too. It's great looking. It's one of the best pieces of filmmaking made today because it's able to evoke such a classic era, and it isn't, well, it doesn't feel that old too.